Hey you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I will be doing my homeschool planning video part two. So you guys, if any of you are new here to my channel, again, my name is Brittany. I'm a homeschooling mom to three girls and this upcoming year, I will have a sixth grader, a kindergartner, and a pre k -er. And you guys, this is my fourth year of homeschool that I am entering. I'm excited, I'm a little bit nervous, but um, making videos like this and really having like somewhat of a plan to start off our homeschool year, is really like settling for me. It really just lets me know, okay, um, I'm not just jumping in head first like I was in my first year of homeschool. Um, I kind of know the start from the finish and you know, I'm just really, really excited about this upcoming homeschool year. Um, so you guys, in today's video, I am going to be planning out uh, my curriculum overview for in particular, my middle schooler. I was going to combine my planning with my kindergartner and my preschooler with my middle schooler. However, for the sake of this video and for for me to create like separate playlists for you guys like with middle school content and for like kindergarten pre-k content I decided to separate out my planning video so in today's video we are just going to be planning my oldest daughter's um, curriculum her overview how I'm going to break down the weeks and her subjects and I already planned our first two weeks of our homeschool so you guys I'm gonna go ahead and flip you around and we are going to go ahead and get on into this thing Okay, you guys, here is the scary part where you line up all of your homeschooling curriculum on your table. And this is for my sixth grader. I have lined up all of the pieces of curriculum I plan on using this homeschooling year as far as her core. And the first thing I'm going to do is figure out how many lessons that I have in each piece, pieces of these curriculums and how I plan to attack them on a weekly basis. Okay, you guys, we are actually going to start off planning our curriculum overview with math. So you guys, this year, we're actually going to be using Math UC's data, and we're going to be supplementing our math with Oak Meadows uh, Math 6. Now, I am supplementing math for my uh, daughter this homeschooling year because this is a testing year for her. So since Math UC is a full-on mastery curriculum, and she's only going to be going over decimals and percentages with a little bit of review, I want to make sure other skills that she already has mastered in the past that she gets an opportunity to review them because uh, Oak Meadows math is more of a spiral curriculum. So we're actually going to be using this as a supplement and a review in preparation for her standardized test. But when you guys see inside of Oak Meadows math six, you're going to see how simple and uh, effective it is. And it's not, it's going to be really seamless with me doing both of these curriculums for her. And I'm not going to really overwork her when it comes to math. So as far as math, you see Zeta goes, we actually started it over the summer and I'm so happy. We got a little head start within math and, um, Brielle did an awesome job with math, you guys. We actually completed the first uh, unit within uh, Math UC Zeta over the summer. So in us completing the first unit, I know we already completed eight lessons. Math UC Zeta has a total of 30 lessons. So right now we actually only have 21 remaining lessons in Math UC Zeta. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a post-it right here so I can remind myself that we only have 21 lessons. So as far as Oak Meadows Math 6 goes, you guys, it has a total of 36 weeks and three lessons per week, which is 88 lessons. So Oak Meadows Math, you guys, is really, really simple. And I really like how um, it's just clean pages similar to Math UC. And I'm going to give you an overview of how one week of Oak Meadows Math looks. So this is day one, which is a skill check. So since Zeta doesn't have any multiplication and division, this will be an extra 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 uh, practice for Brielle and it will be amazing for her to you know uh, get refreshed on some of these skills. Here is the skill practice sheet which has a total of only 12 problems on it and then the test again has a total of 12 problems or on it and then we go into the next week's skill check. So um, since Oak Meadows Math is just in three days, I figure within three days of the week when Brielle does math, we can go ahead and add these problems in and or we can break up these three lessons over the course of Monday through Friday. I'm kind of gonna see how she likes it and wants to add in her supplemental math. But um, as you guys can see, it's really, really simple and I'm excited for us to dive into Oak Meadows Math. So this is our uh, math, we have 21 
81 lessons in Zeta and 88 lessons in Math UC. So, or in <laughs> Oak Meadows Math. So as you guys can see, I actually don't have enough math to get me over for the whole school year. So uh, I may have to pick up the next levels of math in our second semester, who knows, but this is something for me to keep in mind um, as I am going through my homeschooling year, depending on how fast she goes through these curricula. So uh, this is math and this is how many lessons I have remaining in these curriculums. Okay, you guys, as far as English and history in Oak Meadow, these curriculums coincide with each other. So if Brielle is writing a paper in ancient history, it goes along with the grammar she's learning in English and it also has a literature component. So um, I went ahead and I broke down each of these. So each of these curricular pieces, again, has 36 weeks and or 36 lessons. So um, I know I really don't have much wiggle room when it comes to these curricula pieces because uh, we have 36 weeks in our school year and exactly 36 weeks in our um, Oak Meadows um, history and English. Now, the same thing goes with science. Uh, the basic life science has a total of 36 lessons as well. So um, again, uh, with most curriculas, you typically have like um, a little bit of wiggle room when it comes to it, but for Oak Meadow, it's 36 weeks spot on. And um, yeah, so I know this is kind of like how this curricula works. So you guys, on to grammar. So Oak Meadow does have grammar in their curriculum, but their grammar is pretty light. And because my daughter's strength is English, I typically like to beef up this subject area for her. And uh, you guys, my daughter, she loves Rod and Staff's uh, Building English series. We have been doing it now for two years, and this will be our third year. So we actually worked in Rod and Staff over the summer, and we completed Chapter 7 in Rod and Staff 6. And it is a total of... Um, how many grammar chapters is it? It's a total of 10 grammar chapters. I always skip the last chapter because it's like dictionary skills, Bible concordances and things like that. So um, it's a total of 10 chapters. So Brielle's told me this year that she actually doesn't want to do fix it grammar she prefers to do only Rod and Staff. And I'm going to respect her wishes. So I went ahead and I purchased Rod and Staff 7 used because when I counted out the grammar lessons in Rod and Staff 6, we actually only have a total of 31 lessons remaining in Rod and Staff English 6. And for Rod and Staff English 7, I have a total of 93 lessons. So in total, there is 124 lessons in these Rod and Staff curriculums, which is perfect. Um, it gives me a little bit of wiggle room. I have 180 days of school. So for this particular subject, if I only want to do it three to four days out the week, um, I can. This curriculum, I actually sit down with Brielle. So it is teacher intensive where I'm working it one on one with her versus her other pieces of curriculum where it's more independent and student led but because she loves this I went ahead and got it and I'll see how you know we may tie in fix it grammar and or not this homeschooling year but for right now I let my daughter win this battle and we are going to continue with Rod and Staff build an English series so this is another piece of our core curricula. Now these workbooks right here that I'm showing you guys are our supplemental workbooks, which pretty much means that I don't mind if these workbooks carry us to the next homeschooling year and or summer. These are things that I'm uh, using to help my daughter uh, hone in on specific skills, word roots is for vocabulary, and reading detective is just for that higher order of thinking and reading comprehension. We typically do reading detective once a week and we actually started reading detective last homeschooling year because this level is for grades five through six. So we only have a total of 22 tests. So in me knowing this, I know that Reading Detective um, is, a th is a curriculum that I probably will uh, pick up in our second semester and or uh, closer to like our third quarter, our third six week term will probably be a time that I will pick up Reading Detective. So I know this piece of curriculum, I'm not going to start off our homeschool year using. As far as Word Roots goes, Word Roots has a total of 30 lessons in it and it's sectioned off in a through D. So that's um, what five days out the week. But I looked at the first part of the word roots and it has like a pretest. So uh, the kiddos could pretty much do both of these pages in day one. And then the rest of the days I will have her do B, C and D. 
so that is pretty much how Word Roots pretty much goes as far as a lesson. So I know I have a pretty good buffer for Word Roots uh, because it's 30 lessons. I have 36 weeks in our homeschooling year. So um, pretty much this is another piece of curriculum that I'm probably not going to start off our first week of homeschool with. So I'm going to go ahead and put these two aside and know that I will pick these ones up later. Now, as far as Brielle's vocabulary cartoons, we have been working over this over the summer and it has been a huge hit. So I think we're going to continue this in starting off our homeschooling year, uh, first things first. But um, as we get comfortable, probably within like the second or the third week, I will go ahead and add in word roots and she will be doing a combination of word roots and uh, vocabulary cartoons uh, to really help her in those vocabulary skills. So you guys, this is the overview of my core curriculum. Now I'm going to show you guys my planner and how I planned out our first two weeks of homeschool. Okay, you guys, this is my homeschool planner this homeschooling year, and it's actually all set up for the most part. Um, as I go throughout the year, I typically add and change things up, but this is how it looks starting off, you know, uh, day one of the homeschool year. I haven't uh, started my index just yet. This is something I will typically do as I build my calendar or my, um, not my calendar, as I built my planner and things like that. But uh, here is where I typed up my overview for my uh, sixth graders curriculum and everything that we're going to be doing. And as you guys can see, I went ahead and I typed up all of the lessons that we have left. So everything that I went over with you guys, I went ahead and I typed it up on this table of contents page. So this right here is my core. These are things that I absolutely want to cover uh, in our homeschooling year, I want to actually complete them. As far as my supplements, these are supplemental things that I'm going to be using throughout my homeschooling year, but these are things that I don't mind if I don't finish and or if it goes through summer. So I definitely love having these things sectioned off so I know what are my absolute musts to finish and the things that I know that it's not really a must for me to finish. And then I also have Brielle's electives down here that she's going to be doing this homeschool year. So uh, now that I know the amount of lessons that I have, I actually broke th broken them up through days. So for math, you see Zeta, we're gonna be doing that Monday through Friday. For Oak Meadows Math, I have Monday through Friday, but again, Oak Meadows Math, it's only three lessons per week. So it just depends on if we're gonna break down the problems and or if she's just going to do those three lessons three days out the week. We're gonna kind of like fill that part out. As far as English goes, we are actually going to be doing our Oak Meadows English Monday through Thursday. I believe we'll be able to cover all of the things in the English within four days. As far as her ancient history, we're going to be doing that on Wednesdays and Thursdays. For her science, we're going to be doing it on Mondays and Tuesdays. I like to be able to block off our history and science only two days out the week. As far as English goes, the grammar that uh, I talked about, we're going to be doing grammar three to four days out the week. And for right now, I have a schedule to do it three days out the week. So we're going to be doing grammar Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. As far as all of our literature and read alouds, I have a schedule to do one once a month. And as you guys can see, I added in an, another book, which is the first rule of punk with a literature guide. Um, I wanted to try out Blossom and Root's new literature guide. Um, so I actually added in an extra literature piece for us this homeschooling year. Um, again, here goes our supplemental things, things that I'm going to be pulling in. I still have the fix a grammar book for here, um, just in case it's something that I do want to add in for lighter weeks and or use over the summer. So that's why I have used as needed. As far as a supplement, to science. I am going to be using Khan Academy's Middle School's Life Science and I have used as needed because if there is a video lesson that corresponds with uh, what Brielle is learning in life science, I'm going to have her watch that video and then do her assignments from Oak Meadow as a supplement. Same as same with Curiosity Chronicles Ancient Times. Before I actually decided to uh, go with Oak Meadow, I was going to use Curiosity Chronicles. So I am going to be using their interactive notebook from Curiosity Chronicles in conjunction with Oak Meadows uh, Ancient History. So Brielle will be able to have an interactive notebook and we will just pull out uh, any extra uh, readings as needed or as wanted in um, her ancient history. So these are just things that I'm going to be pulling out. These are Brielle's electives that we're going to be doing. And again, they're the same electives from last year. I have Living Harmonies, Living Art Lessons. She's going to be doing Spanish through Rosetta Stone. And then her piano is through Hoffman Academy. And electives uh, she does, she's going to be doing... Um, her uh, music and art every other Friday. And then as far as Spanish and Hoffman Academy, that's something she does on a daily Monday through Friday. 
So you guys, um, here is my, um, my calendar that I already have pulled out with all the days we're going to be taking off. Again, this is a tentative calendar, so things may change. Here is my field trips that I have already planned out for the homeschooling year. And I was a little bit bougie, you guys. And I actually put a picture of each of the field trips. Um, we already did the Telus Museum, you guys. It was so much fun. But I went ahead and I have the rest of them. This is not the order we're going to go on the field trips, but I just wanted to put them here. And I have some blank spaces if we have any other field trips that we might go on. So here is uh, the classes. I went ahead and just put um, piano and Spanish for Brielle as far as classes. Um, we do have a homeschool group, but I didn't put it right here. As far as the curriculum overview, I just took a, a screenshot of each of the pieces of curriculum and I put it on uh, this little curriculum overview page. Here is uh, Brielle's Rod and Staff. And then here is my kindergartners and my preschoolers work. And again, when I get to their planning video, I will show you guys in more details about that. So uh, let's go ahead and go to the next pages that I filled out, which is the curriculum uh, progress. And here is Brielle's curriculum progress. And again, um, I have already sheeted out the Matthew C. Zeta that we did. And in her curriculum progress is pretty much just her core. So she hasn't started anything else except for a uh, Matthew C. Zeta. So the next pages in the planner is my month overview. So this is my July overview. So um, I have any other appointments that I have. So again, our first day of school is the 24th. I put any like dentist and doctor's appointments. Uh, my birthday, you guys, is on the 15th. So I use this as like a general calendar. So um, this is pretty much that's on my uh, general calendar for July as of right now. This is my summer overview and everything that we covered in summer and the books that my kiddos uh, enjoyed. My younger kiddos enjoyed this one and the, all the uh, independent reads and the reads me and Brielle read together and what we actually accomplished over the summer I have on this month in review. Here goes August and um, right here I just have the weeks and again, other uh, appointments that I'm gonna be having for the kiddos, I went ahead and I wrote it on our actual homeschool planner. So you guys, now let's go ahead and get into the week overview of how I actually broken down our curriculum because when we start off our homeschooling year, uh, we are not going to do every single piece of curriculum that I just showed you. We're gonna really give ourselves a soft start. So for Brielle, uh, first things first, as far as her reading goes, Brielle's fun independent reader she's going to be reading uh, starting off her homeschool year is president of the whole sixth grade so she's really really excited to start off this book right now she's finishing up fast pitch so she will be able to start this book um, when we start our homeschool year so hopefully she will enjoy this this author is the same author that wrote the sweetest sound which was one of her favorite books that she read last homeschooling year as far as her assigned reading that she's going to be doing with um, Oak Meadows English, this week she is going to be using, um, or she's going to be reading Maru of the Winter Caves. So this is going to be her first um, book that she's going to be doing in correlation with her literature and her ancient history. So you guys, as far as math goes, again, I just went ahead and I scheduled out Math UC Zeta. I wrote um, 9A through 9G. The thing about Math UC is that um, typically during a week, the kiddos are just mastering it. So she may not be doing all of the lessons 9A through 9G. It's just we work on the skill until she masters it. So I just put this down right here, but I won't know what she actually does until she does it. Um, I have the three lessons for Oak Meadow that she's going to be doing. For uh, Rod and Staff 6, which is what we're on, I have us going on Lessons 89 through 82. And then she's going to be doing uh, the worksheets that correspond with it. So um, I have the worksheets right here. So for these ones, she's going to be doing Worksheet 52, 53, 54 and 55 with her uh, Rod and Staff 6 and it goes with the lessons that we're going to be doing. For her Oak Meadow English again I have us doing our uh, literature which is Maru of the Winter Caves. In the Oak Meadows English it actually tells us how long she has to actually complete each of the literature readings and it told me that she has a total of two weeks to complete um, Maru of the Winter Caves. So this book has a total of I believe... How many chapters is in this book? 
it's a total of 16 chapters. So she has to complete um, eight chapters within this week. So I know each day of the week she can come in and just read about two chapters. She may even read more. So that's how I went ahead and I broke down the reading. So she will be able to have it completed uh, when it actually is time for her to complete the um, reading. Now, as far as this first week goes, when it comes to um, Oak Meadows math, it's really going to be a review for Brielle when it comes to the grammar that they're teaching. They're going over um, simple paragraphs in this week. She's going over compound sentences, complex sentences. She's also going to be going over um, paragraphs and how to write detailed sentences and things like that. So I know for Brielle, this is just going to be a lesson where I'm just going to have her briefly read over it and we will kind of do like an oral review of all of these skills and concepts and things like that. Um, I definitely know it's going to be something where um, she can kind of just come in and we can kind of just get this first part done in like one day. I mean, we're going over declarative, interrogative, exclamatory, and imperative sentences. Like I know she knows that stuff. So this is definitely going to be something where we would just do like an oral review. Um, as far as the paragraph structure, we'll kind of just go over, you know, how to write a, you know, paper and things like that, even though she already knows that she learned that from IEW. Now, as far as the assignments for this week, um, what Brielle is going to be doing is she is going to be um, defining these words right here that goes along with her Oak Meadows ancient history. Uh, she has mammoth, she has spear, so prehistoric. So all of these words, she's going to be um, writing out the definition, then she has to use them in sentences. So each of these uh, assignments has um, what she's going to be doing throughout the week. And for this assignment or this week, it's so light, I can foresee Brielle being able to do this Oak Meadows English assignment pretty much in two days. So I went ahead and I scheduled her to do her English portion in two days. So Monday and Tuesday, she probably will be finished with all of her English assignments. And one thing that's cool about Oak Meadow is that um, it's you, you kind of really don't know if one week is going to take you longer or shorter. But as I'm looking in it, I see some of the weeks may be longer and shorter, but they do balance out. So English is a lighter week because in her ancient history this uh, week, uh, Brielle is going to be writing two papers in ancient history, which is really, really cool. Um, so I know she's going to be uh, needing to write her two papers in here. So what I went ahead and did was um, I have her assignment checklist right here in Oak Meadow. So she is going to begin Oak Meadow with her reading. So each week in the ancient history, she has some form of reading that she's going to be doing. And this is about the Stone Age. So the reading is just, what? oh, this is it. So the reading is just two pages. So she probably will get done with the reading or two, wait, one, two, no, it's four pages. So one, two, three, four is the reading. So on the day one, she probably would do the reading in her checklist. And then on day two or day one, she probably will begin to create her world map because uh, she's actually going to have like a large scale of a world map. So I know I need to write in my planner to buy Brielle um, a poster board for um, her to do her world map. So I'm going to make sure I write that down somewhere. So she's going to begin doing her world map. So on day one of ancient history, uh, she can probably do those things. Then on day two of ancient history, she can come in and choose one of the um, assignments that she's going to be doing. So here, uh oh, <laughs> you guys, I keep on flipping back too far. So she's going to be able to choose uh, one of the next assignments, which is right here. She has an opportunity to choose which of the following topics she wants to write a paper on. Then she can choose one of the projects she wants to do for the week. And then she gets to choose the activity. So for our activity, she actually already chose that she wants to do the cave painting activity. And as far as the writing assignments, you guys, I know for sure Brielle will be able to do these writing assignments. Uh, really, really simple. Writing is her strong point. And when we come in on Monday, I will actually have her pick out whatever writing assignment she wants to do. So uh, these assignments, again, are spread out throughout the week. And as I get more comfortable with Oak Meadow, I will kind of see and gauge um, how fast or slow we go through a week and get through each of the assignments. So uh, because of that, you guys, I actually only have a scheduled only doing uh, ancient history in English this week. 
Now, as far as our fun activity that we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing living uh, art lessons on Friday for uh, Brielle. And I went ahead and put it right here. I actually, oh, hold on one second. Let me go grab it for you guys. Okay, you guys, here is living art. And what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and just do this simple activity right here. I actually have all the watercolors and I have the pastels for us to do the jellyfish lines. So uh, what I'm going to do is just uh, mark this with a post-it so I know to come to this page on Friday. And this is the art activity that we're going to be doing. So hopefully Brielle will enjoy it. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much our first week of school. So as you guys can see, it's pretty much half the load. We're keeping it really, really simple. And that's how I have planned out for the first week. Now, um, in my weekly plan, again, I didn't actually write out anything. I just have everything labeled. So when we actually get through each assignment, I can kind of like write out what we actually did. And for the week overview for the next week, I did the same exact thing where I wrote a plan and um, then I will actually write out what we actually do when we get there. So um, I really won't know what we need to do for week two until we finish week one. So again, I just have my goals and what I want us to accomplish. And that is pretty much how I have my planner and my first two weeks like planned out for us to start off our homeschool year. We're definitely doing a soft start and I'm kind of like easing us in. As you guys can see, it's no read aloud that we're starting off. We're literally just starting off with the core and we're really going to get our feet wet using this new Oak Meadows curriculum. And um, I really, really can't wait. I love the hands-on projects that Brielle is going to be doing first week. And I hope she enjoys it too. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video as I planned out my sixth graders homeschooling curriculum. I really hope that this video was really um, settling for you to kind of see how simple it is to map out your overview of your curriculum and how to break it down into bite-sized pieces. Um, you guys, to really be honest, I never was this... Uh, uh, thorough when it came to my plan and when I first started off my homeschooling journey. However, now that I do have some more experience under my belt, having more of a plan really puts me at ease and really having everything together really ensures us to have smooth and effective homeschooling days. So you guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.